Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create bold nut with washer rivet family using lookup table. You can see in picture, there are four part, head of bolt, body of bolt, washer, and nut. In this tutorial, I will load in those four the created family. The families are control and altered by lookup table. You find and watch how to create hex nut, washer, and thread rivet family the link are in comment box below. I would like request to subscribe the channel and hit that notification bell for my next tutorial. Ok let go to rivet and start creation. Go to new family. Bold nut are fixed on something of face. So I going select the generic face based model and open it. Change the scale 1 into 2 and set fine for detail level. Go to insert and load in the created nut, washer and thread family. After load in, you can find all families are in the project browser. Before drag and drop the created family. I will import this 3 CSV file. Washer is for washer family, metric thread coarse pitch is for thread family, hex bolt nut is for head of bolt and nut family. Select the CSV file and import one by one. Add parameter for the imported lookup table. For hex bolt CSV file, Add lookup table name. Select text for type of parameter and select other for group parameter. Select instance and click OK. For washer, add lookup table name 1. Select text for type of parameter and select other for group parameter. Select instance and click OK. For thread, add lookup table name 2. Select text for type of parameter and select other for group parameter. Add the value for lookup table name. The value is hex bold nut csv file name. And click apply. Add the value for lookup table name 1. The value is washer csv file name. Add the value for lookup table name 2. The value is metric thread course pitch csv file name. Click apply and ok. Select the head of bold family. Drag and drop to the reference level. Go to family type. Add parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click ok. Set 16 mm for nominal diameter as default. Click apply and OK. Select the head of bolt. Add an equal parameter for the nominal diameter. Add an equal to parameter for lookup table name. Go to family type. Check and test the nominal diameter parameter. It is function. Go to front view. This is face base plane. There are washer between face base plane and head of bolt. Select the existing reference line. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Change the scale and set fine for detail level. Select the dimension and add a new parameter for washer thickness. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type and add formula for washer thickness parameter. Size underscore lookup, bracket, lookup table name 1, double quotation, th, double quotation, nominal diameter multiply 0 0.2, nominal diameter, bracket. 
the value is altered by lookup table. Click apply and OK. Select the object and move up a bit and align to the reference line. And lock it. Go to 3D view. Change display to shade. Select the face based plane and temporary hide it. Select the washer family. Drag and face to the head of bolt. Select the washer. Add parameter lookup table and equal to lookup table name 1. Add parameter nominal diameter and equal to nominal diameter. Go to reference level and align to the reference line. Select the thread. Drag and drop to the reference level. Go to front view. Align the thread to the reference level and lock it. Select the thread and add parameter for lookup table and nominal diameter. Select the existing. Offset 2.2 mm and create the similar for thread pitch. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add a new parameter for thread pitch. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for thread pitch parameter. Size underscore lookup, bracket, lookup table name 2, double quotation, p, double quotation, 10% of norminal diameter, nominal diameter, bracket. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference line. Offset 100 mm and create a similar for bold length. Insert a dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for length. Select instance and click OK. Select the, the thread and array down to next reference line. Select the array number and add parameter for number of thread. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type and add the formula for number of thread. The formula is bold length divided by thread pitch. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D. There are hollow in center of thread. So we have to fill in the body. Go to front view. You can zoom into the thread. The inner diameter of thread is minor diameter. So the filled body is based on this minor diameter. So go to family type and add a new parameter for minor diameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to create and select the sweep. Draw a rectangle and lock it. Insert a dimension. Select the dimension and add a new parameter for radius. Select the axis line and finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Now look OK. Back to front view. Go to family type and arrange the nominal diameter to the top row. Add formula for body radius parameter. Formula is minor diameter divided by 2. Add formula for minor diameter. The formula is size underscore lookup, bracket, lookup table name 2, double quotation, MDM, double quotation, 80% of nominal diameter, nominal diameter, bracket. Align the second thread to the reference line. Go to reference level. Drag and drop the nut family. Back to front view. 
create a new reference line for nut offset parameter. Offset 6 mm and create similar. Insert a dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for nut offset. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type and add formula for nut offset parameter. The formula is thread pitch multiply by 2. Click apply and OK. Align the nut to the nut offset reference line. Select the nut and add parameter for lookup table name and nominal diameter. Go to 3D view and select the washer. Create a similar and face base onto the nut. Go to reference level and align the nut and washer to the reference line. Back to 3D view. Select the washer and add parameter for lookup table name 1 and nominal diameter. Check and test the parameter. The parameter are working. Now complete the creation. If you like this video, please click the like button. Thank you for watching.